All right, we are back. I'd like to start today's episode off with a uh, quote from a wise philosopher. I don't like them putting chemicals in the water that turn the friggin' frogs gay. Ah, ah, crap. Hmm, wise words indeed. Something we can all think about. And with that, we are back with episode two. Back to work, Crasher. I just needed you for that intro. So now you may say, holy shit, looks a little different. Well, you're very astute. You must be wearing glasses because it is different. We have more people, you know, we uh, we got some recruits. Not everyone uh, made the cut per se, but the people that did, you know, we got some tadpoles, one, two, and three. He's not really, you're not really doing anything. Maybe you can just go wander around, get some cardio in. And it's, it's looking good. However, I gotta say, I'm not impressed with the salt production, so I'm going for a new uh, get rich quick scam. Cause that's, you know, religion, you know, <laughs> it's all about the money. It's all those guys care about. You ever go to church, man? They, they literally hand out a bucket and they're just like, put money in it, motherfucker. And you're like, oh, oh, and you feel bad if you don't. Nowhere else is that acceptable. Someone just comes up to you with a bucket on the street and they're like, hey, I'm going to tell you some stories from thousands of years ago that you've heard a million times before and you're going to pay me for it. That shit wouldn't fly on YouTube. Flies in church, though. So what I'm saying is um, our new money-making scheme is going to be, let me see... Yeah, right? It doesn't get much better than this, right? A fucking money printer. This is the height of seven-year-old logic when you're like, wait a minute, I can just print money and then I have it. Well, we're going to try that. You know, we're going to put it to the test. We just need to, you know, get this building and then we're going to fill the whole thing with money printers and um, we'll just see what happens. I think we need hemp though. So that's that's the only hang up. You know, we take the hemp and we turn it into money. So... I guess we gotta get hemp farms going on as well, which kind of sucks dick, but that's the first thing that we're gonna do in this episode. And the second thing is we're gonna do prayer day, but it's, it's gonna be like reverse prayer day. We're gonna go to the Holy Nation territory with our toad priest, our battle buddies, and a couple of tadpoles. And we're, we're just gonna, you know, hit up some of those farms, see if they've heard the good news of the battle toads. And uh, if not, you know, there might be problems, but we'll just, you know, cross that fridge when we come to it. That's all I can really say. While I'm running around here looking for hemp, like any good religious leader would do, um, I just need to, I need to interject with a little, you know, personal opinion. Uh, celery is fucking disgusting. That's it. There's not too much more to it, really, just that opinion. It's gross. I bought some of it at the grocery store, thinking it was gonna be a good time. Big fucking mistake. I sat down on the couch, Trying to eat, I tried to eat a stick of... Why is it salty? Like, I just gotta get that out of the way. Why is it salty, dude? You're, but you're supposed to be water. It tastes like a fucking salty surprise. I just... I, I'm, I'm sorry. I just ate the celery. It's very... I can still taste it in my mouth. I'm in kind of a sour mood. Or you could, you could say a salty mood. And, uh, I don't know. Can anyone defend celery? I think the only d defense for celery is that you just smother it in ranch. But at that point, it's like, I could smother anything in ranch and it would be, you know, doable. You know what, while we're at it, since I'm on a roll here, let me hit you with, an <laughs> with another obscure thought that I had. Uh, this one came yesterday. You guys ever heard the phrase waffle stomp? I think that's the, <laughs> I think that's the funniest fucking phrase. This goes back to me having the IQ of a six-year-old, but <laughs> I guess... <laughs> I guess it refers to like, you know, some people will pee in the shower and then it's like, oh, well, you can poop in the shower, too. You just have to you have to waffle stomp it down the drain with your foot. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. What did I? Why am I coming here for hemp? I don't have enough inventory space for it. Fuck's sake, Reggie. I think part of the reason I find it so funny is because whenever I think of waffle stomp, I think of that scene from the movie Drive where um, Ryan Reynolds is in the elevator and he's just stomping this dude's head into a fucking bloody pulp. That's <laughs> that's all that comes to mind. It really brings a smile to my young face. Anyhow, I'm here looking for a backpack so that I can buy that hemp. Ooh, pink large backpack though. I think we gotta go for pink large. Ooh yes, Ron has a nice flamboyant large pink backpack hopefully we can get all the uh the hemp that we need now probably like 10 to start a farm and like two to do the research hemp farming god damn it yeah so we need we need two and then some more to start the farm i would say there's also indoor hemp that's an option there's a lot of weird characters in kenshi but i gotta say i've really outdone myself only episode two of this series and i've already created one of the weirder things i've ever seen 
giant toad sunglasses huge pink backpack and uh, an anchor that would be that would be pretty hard to guess if we were playing clue <laughs> You know, it's like, it's Clue, you have to get all the specifics down. You're like, the maid in the wine cellar with a pipe cleaner. <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah, the, the battle toad with an anchor and sunglasses in uh, post-apocalyptic Japan. No one would get it. I'd get away with it every time. What's up, you big fox? Give me your hemp. You don't have any hemp. I'm going to shoot myself. Got any hemp, boy? You got any more hemp? You disappoint me. Oh, I need like a couple more hemp, dude. Come on. Be a real one. Someone spot me some hemp. I also have a, a goat in case I want to do like ritual sacrifice. Or, you know, or a, a religion. It's gonna happen at some point. Listen, gentlemen. I will offer you this but once. It is a chance to see perfection. Okay? A chance to see God. Will you join me? In the Church of the Battletoad. Obviously, you have no choice in the matter. How the fuck you standing on an angle like that? <laughs> what? Some, like, David Blaine shit. How do I... I don't even know how to fix that. There's nothing that's, like, angle. Whatever, I'll just turn you into a frog person anyway. It doesn't fucking matter. Oh, you may also notice that everyone's looking kind of... Look kind of thick, right? Like, look at this. You know? It's not because they're, they're fat. You know, quite the contrary. Many people here are actually quite hungry. But, uh... <laughs> They are all fucking ripped out of their minds. It takes all of three minutes to put a, a new recruit, like, say, Tadpole 5, put him on that strength mine, and boy, I tell you what, he's gonna have 90 strength by the time Ron gets back here. Okay, it's coming along. Okay, maybe don't sit in the, the hemp farm. You know, we're doing the indoor hemp farms, because uh, they have 100% yield, so that's that's pretty nice. So once we get a couple of these up and running, then we'll put in the money printers, and they'll feed hemp into the money printers, money into my pockets, and then right into the prostitutes' pockets. And we'll be well on our way to becoming a, uh, you know, an established religion. And then, next episode, easily we will kill Lord Phoenix. Where does he live? Is he Does he live at Stack, or is it... I don't know, we'll get him wherever he is, the creepy little bitch. Hey, definitely, uh, definitely missed an opportunity not putting the main base in the swamp here. That's, I'll, I'll, I'll own up to that one. But at the same time, this is such a gross fucking biome to build in, like, what am I supposed to do? You can't go three feet without hitting a giant fucking, whatever that is, giant sand dildo is. And there's water everywhere, it's just, I wouldn't want to live here. There's a reason the swamp raptors are all fat and spiky and ugly. You live in the swamp. Wouldn't be me, buddy. Bro, you got any higgity higgity hemp? Wanna play cat crawlers? No, I, I'm driving, sorry. Look at this! Look at this! What is... That's a battle toad right there. That's a non-sunglasses wearing battle toad. I thought I was the only one. What the fuck is going on in this world? I kinda want... I kinda wanna beat him up and and recruit him, but he might beat me up, so I'm <laughs> not sure. Oh, there's a couple of battle toads here. Look at this shit. What the fuck? <laughs> nice hat, dickhead. I guess battle toads exist in the swamp. Fun, fun fact. I don't know. I, I don't know how to approach that. I would try and kidnap him, but uh, there's about 800 guards here, so I'm, I'm just not liking the odds. Okay, so this is the update. We have almost six indoor hemp farms complete, and uh, you know, they're pumping out Really not a lot of hemp, but I think it will be enough. We've also made four automated money printers. So, you know, once we get like a good harvest of hemp, uh, we'll just do like a test run and we'll see, I don't know if I put like 10 in here, uh, how much money does it make me, basically. So things are starting to look up for us, or as Battletoad Kronk might say. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. I'm sorry, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I made that. It's kind of, kind of just a morbid... You know, kind of, I was thinking about could I make Battletoad Kronk, and I, I wasn't thinking about should I make Battletoad Kronk, but we both watched it, and it's going to be with you for a while now, so, yeah. All right, this is it, the moment of truth. We have harvested 19, and, and then that one will make 20. 20 hemp. We're going to put it in these uh, money printers and see what, if anything, comes out the other end. Maybe it'll just be a big middle finger, I don't know, I've never used this mod before. Let's, uh, pound this in there, so they're automated, so that's kind of cool. 
Oh, okay. All right, a smooth thousand. I think the conversion ratio is, is roughly five hemp equals a thousand monies, which is pretty cool. I'll just pound that in there. And then that just does its own thing. So let me see. I'll get the I'll get the last one. So if I'm correct. So if I'm correct, we should be looking at one, two, five hundred by five, four thousand cats. And there it is. We got uh almost five thousand. I think I put some in there accidentally before, but that's I mean that's pretty cool. You know, you don't wanna you don't wanna sell your hemp, you don't wanna turn it into anything else. Fuck, turn it into money, boys. So that's straight into the pocket. Very nice. So now, this is all automated, really. I mean, I get, what, Tadpole 4? Yeah, Tadpole 4. You can you can be in charge of the, uh, the money printers. I mean, we have the water being pulled up automatically, and then indoor hemp farming. Not a lot of hemp, to be honest. Kind of takes a while. It's kind of shitty, but... Um, fuck it, I'm not complaining. And then you'll throw it all in the money printer once you've got it. And that's just going to be running in the background. That's that's just free money, basically. So, um, that's cool. I think now it's probably time to do a little prayer day. You know, spread the word of the battle toad. I'm going to take Ron. Of course, I'm going to have a battle toad. And uh, I'll take two battle buddies. And I'll take a toad priest. Got to have a toad priest. And then I got to take, you know, a couple tadpoles just to just to vouch for the whole organization, you know. Some, some customer testimonials. Oh, yeah, ever since I started worshipping battle toads, my sex drive through the roof you know that kind of shit so now we go we go on our holy our holy quest to spread the good word just six men or we're really five men and a toad what are you guys doing are you guys enslaved by this bone dog whatever man this world's getting too weird i'm out of you're you're naked so so I know there's a lot of uh, little tiny Holy Nation farms and bases, you know, not unlike my own in this uh, in this area here. So we'll hit that up and see what we can do. The thing about the Holy Nation and, you know, especially Prayer Day is they always catch you on some bullshit technicality. They think they're fucking uh, occupational health and safety inspectors or some shit. They come in and, you know, yeah, I got the Holy Flame. Yeah, I floss before bed. You know, you're, you're killing it. And then they catch you on some bullshit like... Uh, your shoelace is untied, and then, the, you know, they take you to rebirth, and they fucking kill you and rape you. And so basically, I'm going to try and give them a, you know, a piece of their own uh, medicine here. And I'm going to try and catch these holy farmers slipping on some bullshit related to the, you know, the Church of the Battletoads. And then we'll just beat the shit out of them and maybe take them as slaves. Because that's what the Holy Nation does to us, so let's just, you know, let's just go for it. Hail, brothers! We, we come from the Church of the Battletoad to spread the good word. Wait a sec. They're wearing pants. Killed them all. Yep, what a goddamn shame. They were good men, but uh, they should have known better than to wear pants when when Frog Day was, was coming. It's strictly against religion uh, guidelines outlined in the, the handbook. You guys should have got the handbook. Anyway, Prayer Day, Frog Day 1. Massive success, I would say. We've eradicated some heretics, some, some, uh, you know, some pants-wearing heretics, and uh, it's going well. On to the next farm. Okay, there it is. We've got a holy farm right there. Let's fucking go for it. All right, let's hope these guys aren't, you know, godless sodomites like the last group. Okay, everything looks all right. Let's, uh, I'll send a toad priest in for an advanced inspection. Okay, everything's good. It just looks like a, like a sleepover party here. Everyone's just kind of laying down on the ground. That's fine. Ah, uh, I caught you slipping. The holy flame, you know that shit's outlawed in the Church of the Divine Toad, you dumb bitch. It's hard to find good worshippers these days. Everyone's, you know, either wearing pants or reading the wrong books, and... God, I just wish for simpler times, really. I think I like beating you to death with an anchor? Kinda. But it's... it takes a while, it's inconvenient. Okay, the, the real sin here is that they're actually... They have, they have pet skimmers. Disgusting. Yeah, 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 you know, it's, uh... It's a goddamn shame. It's hard to find, you know, good people these days. Good non non-pant-wearing people. I feel a certain kinship with these swamp raptors because they don't even know what pants are. These guys, however, they know all too well what pants are, and they also know all too well what this fucking dirty holy flame is. And you know, for that they must pay. You can't heal him. He's burning on a... What? What? What is... What? Okay. They're staging a coup? <laughs> They're staging a hostile takeover here? 
Jesus Christ, you can't- this is why I can't have nice things, guys. I'm trying to have, a, like, a one cinematic moment, please. Burning some people at the stakes. <laughs> some people with sticks come over here and start beating up animals. Yeah, I would say these guys are pretty thoroughly dead. Um, just to be- just to be sure, I'll probably take some of their legs and eat them. Kind of a quality assurance thing here, yeah. And, oh, just in time. <laughs> A holy nation patrol has arrived to uh, to witness my my acts of um, not say terrorism, my acts of enlightenment. All right, guys, let's flee, flee the scene, flee the scene of the enlightenment. All right, there's our last farm. One more, one more instance of prayer day. Let's go, guys. We'll try to be compassionate this time. You know, we've kind of been being dicks to the other place. Oh, I don't like your literature. Oh, the cargo shorts are out. You know, let's we'll take it easy on these guys. In fact, everyone can just chill back here. I'll just send the the, the toad priest. Greetings, outsiders. It is it is Frog Day, and I come to spread the good news of of the frog. This, this is pretty much it. Uh, you know, it's kind of a it's it's an all inclusive religion. You know, you get like a diet program, the the dental, um, kind of like a it's kind of like a way of life, really. I don't know if you guys are into it. Just thought I'd, you know, get some signatures and stuff. You know what? I like you guys. While you are wearing pants, they're not full pants. They're not down to the ankle. I can appreciate that. Um, quick sweep. Ba -ba -ba -ba. No holy flame here anywhere. You know what? You guys... You guys pass. You guys pass frog day. Good job. Just for that, you know what? We're bringing in the goat. This is my gift to you. You know, my new converts. It's a goat. I'll just leave it on your doorstep there. It's- I swear it doesn't normally pass out. It's not one of those, you know, those fun internet goats. This is just a, uh, kind of a one-time thing, I think. It's actually, uh, it's not on a leash, so you might want to go... I want to go get that. I don't know where the fuck it just fucking took off at, like, 700 miles an hour. Anyway, that's your goat now, if you, you know, if you can find it. Uh, they locked the door. I think they're a little scared of, of me and my true form, you know. This is not many people get to see God, you know, every day, so I get it. Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll build them a little statue of, uh, of you know, to, to represent their allegiance to the frogmen. Okay, well, um, you know, zoning laws kind of dictated that we couldn't build this within, like, fucking 100 meters of their base. But we built them a nice statue of, uh, I don't it says narco, but we'll just pretend it's, it's, it's frogger or something. A nice, nice frogger statue. That'll make them popular with the, the Holy Nation patrols. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. We have uh, completed our, our first kind of successful get-rich-quick scam. Can you get your fat ass out of the shot, Ronnie? Jesus, you're all fucking double-caked. You're just distracting me. Just turn them around or something. Jesus Christ. Sorry. Um, that's going to be it for this episode. You know, we, we completed our, our money-making scheme. I'll check in on that, actually, uh, before we finish. Uh, and we did some prayer day. We completed three prayer days, or three frog days, whatever the fuck you want to call it. I think wildly successful. Those last people were very receptive up until they locked their doors and started screaming for help. Whatever. Normal reaction. Uh, let's let's check in on that. Okay. Yeah, the hemp is uh, the hemp is growing and the money is a-flowing. That's 6,000 cats. On top of the 4,000 that we made earlier. Oh, there's... It's gonna go seven. Nice, man. I like this. So yeah, we're making money. We got a good little scheme, like any good religion. No more pass, no buckets. And uh, next episode, I think we're. I, I think it'll be the final episode. We'll be able to take out, you know, Lord Phoenix. One final assault on the uh, Holy Nation, and we can claim supremacy as the ultimate uh, religion in Kenshi. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.